Hi guys. So I finally uh, have gotten it together to do a video and the hardest thing has been trying to decide what I wanted to talk about, what I wanted to, to do next. And um, so in December I had gone through some of my uh, boxes of fragrances and I pulled out a Chanel fragrance that I have not worn in a long, long time. And it is uh, Ego East from Chanel. Um, this is uh, this is the bottle right here, and this bottle is probably a good 12 years old at least. It could be a little older than that, but it's been packed away um, very safely. And so, with it being nice and cold now, because I remember this is a pretty heavy scent, um, I tried it on, and um, it was just as I remembered. So that, that's good to know. It, has, it hasn't turned yet. So it was pretty much exactly as I remember it being. And um, this fragrance came out in 1990. And like I said, this is the original Ego East. This is not the Platinum Edition or version. Um, and uh, so this fragrance was 1990. The top notes are mahogany, Sicilian Mandarin, Brazilian Rosewood, and Coriander, uh, with middle notes of Carnation, Cinnamon, and Damask Rose, and a dry down of Leather, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Tobacco, and Amber. So, pretty much uh, everything I love in the dry down and in the middle as well. And this fragrance is the best way to kind of describe it, you know, what you're going to end up with is kind of like a smoldering fire. And not because it's smoky, it's smoky a little bit, um, but mainly because of its warmth. I mean, this, is a, this fragrance will keep you warm at night. I mean, it is just so dense. I mean, and it was funny, so not having worn this in a long time, when I first put it on, I'm like, what? What is this making me think of? And, um, and, I, and, it, and, it, and it reminded me of this fragrance. It's not really an alternate to it, but it, it has some similarities to um, Musgrave Azure. And I have th that on the other arm here. And Musgrave Azure is a bit smoother than the Ego East is. And I looked up the notes to compare, and Musgrave Azure shares three notes with Ego East, uh, cinnamon, sandalwood, and vanilla. And so that's it, which are all basically in the middle and in the dry down. But... I mean, because both of these scents are heavyweight scents or bold scents, uh, warm as well. I mean, they're just, they, they favor a teeny bit, um, enough to make me think of Musgrave Azure. But, yeah, the Musgrave Azure is a tiny bit smoother. That's the best way to describe it. But this is like, oh my goodness. Yeah, this one is definitely... You know, winter only. Honestly, I just don't know how you can get away with wearing it during warm summer months. And um, I did some looking around on websites to see, well, who still sells the Ego East? And I went to all the department store, the, the high-end department store websites, Neiman Sachs, Nordstrom, um, Barney's, Bergdorf's, and None of them have it. Perfumania doesn't have it either. And FragranceNet doesn't have it. The only place that I could find um, the Ego East for purchase, um, well, there's two places. Um, Amazon has it. And eBay has it. It's probably safer to order from Amazon than it is eBay. If you're going to order from eBay, I'd try and get some references, talk to people in the community that have ordered from eBay and find out who's respectable and who isn't. I think Teresa and I think Will knows some people 
or a person or two on eBay that is definitely um, respectable and safe to order from. eBay kind of scares me a little bit. Amazon I'd be a little bit more comfortable with. But in the U.S. market, this is going to be pretty much the only place you can find it unless you find it in some off-the-wall shop or kiosk. Um, I'd still, I remember seeing it in Duty Free in Europe in September, and um, but over here in the U.S. market, it's just going to be very, very hard to find. Um, and the commercial, I'm going to link the, the ad to um, the TV spot that ran for this. So the ad is basically what sounds like a bunch of very unhappy women. And I found the translation for what they're, they're shouting in the commercial because it is in French. And the translation goes like this. Selfish, where are you? Show yourself miserable. Be sure my anger. I will be implacable. Oh rage, oh despair, oh my betrayed love. Have I been living then so much for that this is infamy? Show, show yourself selfish, 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 selfish. Like, all righty. It's just, and then they start slamming the shutters, yelling ego east, ego east. And I'm like, all right then. Well, I don't know how much that ad helped sell the fragrance, but it was definitely different. So the staying power for Ego East is going to be about six to eight days. Um, not quite that long, but definitely all day long. Uh, this fragrance does not fade fast at all. Um, you have got to wear it very cautiously. Um, you cannot be heavy handed with it. Um, you'll only make that mistake once. It will only take one time and then you'll never do that again. So uh, very gently with this. This fragrance is probably the, the boldest fragrance Chanel had done since Antaeus. And Antaeus came out in 1981. And uh, Antaeus is another just crazy, spicy, big, bold scent. I couldn't do that one. That one really messed up my allergies. I just couldn't take the, the Antaeus. But... And Antaeus is actually easier to find here in the U.S. than it is uh, the Ego East. I did see Antaeus on more websites for availability than I did this one. So, but it's that kind of, you know, bold scent. So if you're familiar with Antaeus, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's another one you got to wear very, very lightly. Um, but yeah, I just, I could do that fragrance. I haven't smelled it in many, many years. I might should go back and revisit it, but it was a little... A little over the top for me so um, anyhow so I think that's about it and um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later